Good afternoon and welcome to today's assembly everybody. Now today's assembly we are going to look at one of the other words that comes up at Countess Rhea as one of the real attributes that we need to have to be the very best we can be. And this week we're going to look at the word curious. What does it mean to be curious? Well, have a little think before I talk to you about what curious means to me and why it's a good thing for you to have in your learning. If you're going to be a curious learner, you're going to be somebody who is trying to find things out. You're going to find things out for yourself. Your teacher might help you, they might give you some advice, but you are the one who's either wanting to find it or is going to find it out for yourself. You're going to you do some exploration. You might try and find out. Perhaps with your paints, you might think, hmm, I wonder what happens if I put two colours together. And lots of you will know that if I put two colours together, perhaps like yellow and red, I will get another colour. If I don't know what that colour is, a really good way to learn that would be to use exploration to try and find out. Or I could do some investigation, which is what you quite often do when you're in science learning. You might sort of try and think, right, I, I wonder what will happen. And I've seen it earlier on, what will happen if I hold a piece of ice? And you might do some investigation about what will happen, how long it takes, and whether it, we can do it quicker or faster with different ways of working. This is all about being curious learners. And if we're curious learners, we will find out more and more. And what a good thing for us to think about is to be an inquisitive thinker. So every time I think about something, be inquisitive. Find out about it. What does that mean? How does it work? Really exciting. So that is what I've been doing quite a lot of the time. I have been curious about the learning and the way that Countess Weir works, because that's where I've been spending lots of my time. And I spoke to my friends at Marple, and I've asked them if they can be curious, because we were going to try and set up some meetings so that, that the children at Marple could be curious about the learners and the way they learn at Countess Weir. And perhaps Clist Heath would like to join in with that, because it would be really good for all three of us that are going to work together to be inquisitive thinkers. Find out what other people are doing. Think about what they might be doing, which will be good for us. Now next week I'm on a little visit with a gentleman who's called Mr Denton. Now Mr Denton works at County Sweer at the moment and he's going to come to Marple Primary School with me on Friday and we're going to have a little look and we are going to be inquisitive thinkers and we are going to find out or do some finding out about what happens with learning there. He's also going to help us with some of our ICT things, which will be great because things can work both ways. And that leads me nicely to say that, that Mr Denton, that my friends at Marple will meet and also my friends at Clist Heath and Countess Weir know very well, is going to be moving on. And he is only with us for two more weeks because after those two weeks, he's going to do, well, he's going to be curious, definitely, because he's going to go off to a school in Bristol and that's where he's going to be working because his wife has moved to Bristol, he's buying a house in Bristol and that's definitely too far to come to work at Countess Weir. So we're going to wish him a bientôt or bon voyage, that means good luck or see you soon. All right. See if you can find out which of those means a bientôt and bon voyage. Um, Mr Denton, we are going to miss you and we'll be going to tell mums and dads all about it in our newsletter this week. But we're sure that if you go and do some investigation and some ex exploration, you will have a fantastic time there. And don't forget to think about us here back in Exeter and Exmouth. See you soon, everybody. This week for me, as hard as you can, see if you can be an inquisitive thinker. So we'll now go over to the news in your school for the awards for this week. Thank you.